Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick Outlook tip of the day. Today's tip is how to connect your Microsoft Outlook with your LinkedIn profile using the Microsoft apps. I figured out a few cool tricks that you might like to know and use, and it's helpful when you're building up your contact list and Outlook and want to generate sales using the LinkedIn profiles. Let's get started. All right, so before we get started, the first thing you do want to do is go log into office.com. You can see the address right here. And once you get logged in and you can see your uh, the, the little charms up here, or they're called waffles, I'm not even sure, but you can see your Outlook account right here. And I already have it open up here in another tab. Then you come over here and come all the way down to the people right here, okay? So the people button, uh, down there will open up your contacts over here. You can see I have an exchange account, so I have plenty there. But the first thing you want to do is have one contact in there at least. And then you can come over to LinkedIn here and click on Let's Go. And now this brings up a window right here and it says your organization is giving you the power. So you want to continue to LinkedIn and it's going to log in. So here's my account I use there, and here's my login, and then we're going to hit sign in. Now it's connected. So online here, it connects, and it will know throughout your entire Microsoft account that you're connected. So that means on any computer you're on with Outlook, you will be able to use these functions. Now we're going to come down here and hit accept. And now you're connected, so let's get going. All right, so you can see here, I already added uh, one of my old friends, Mary. She's one of the first people I met when I started my business and uh, one of my first LinkedIn connections, believe it or not. So what I had done was added her email here. And since there's an email, it connected us to her LinkedIn with that email. So you can see here now, when you click on this button, it turns her into a LinkedIn profile in your Outlook Online. And now I'm going to start and show you how it works in Outlook. All right, so now we have the Outlook desktop open. I'm going to show you a few tricks to adding people so you can see them on the LinkedIn profile. First thing you might want to do is change your view to the people view. That's where the LinkedIn profile link shows up. You can do it here in the current view options, or you can come up to view over here and change them over here as well. Now, next, I'm going to show you how to add some people from an email to your contacts. So we'll start with my friend Mary again. You can take her email here and just drag it down to the people over there. This is going to add her as a contact with her display name, her email, and show you the email notes of the email you just dragged over there, which is kind of handy for keeping notes in the context to remember how you know them or what the conversation was about. Then you come over here and hit save and close. And now down here in your contacts, there's Mary here. And you can come over and click the LinkedIn link there. And there's Mary. Now you can see Mary and I are already first level connections. You can see where she works, uh, general information that's easy to see here. And if you wanted to go, you can go to her LinkedIn profile. You can click on that and it takes you to the profile itself. And I'll drag a couple more over there. This is kind of handy for adding people. There you go. It shows the display name, the email again, and the notes from the email. Hit save and close. We'll do a couple more. This is a really fast way of adding people. These are from your inbox, okay? And we'll add another one there. There we go. Save and close. Now come back to your contacts. You can see the people. Click on them there and go click on the LinkedIn. Now let's say you want to add somebody from your sent items. So you can come over to your sent, right click on their name right here, and you can edit a contact. Looks like I already have Abe in my list. You can hit save and close and come down to the contact. And there is the contact and the LinkedIn profile. So let's say you have just someone's email from being maybe CC'd with somebody else, or you just picked it up off uh, something off the internet and you want to find out if they have a LinkedIn profile or find out their full name. You can just take the email here, 
right click, add to Outlook contacts. And you can see there's not much information here. Hit save and close. Come down to the contact. And there's the email and it doesn't really tell us much, but over here in LinkedIn, it tells us who the person is, where they work and all the information. You can see over here, if you stretch that out, you can actually hit that connect button and connect with them on LinkedIn right through your Outlook. All right, so here, one of my clients to meet has a new email address. So I'm just gonna take that email. We're gonna right click and grab a copy of it. Come down to the contacts and put in a new one. Put in his email here. There we go. And hit save and close. And hit yes there. This is if you want to add the name or not in the contact. Now you can see over here, there's no name. That did not work. So we're going to delete it. Try it again. All right. There we go. <laughs> I like to show my boo-boos. That was not perfect. But here you can see the email is added. LinkedIn. Now you can see who it is. That's just another example of adding somebody's email only. Demi does have a few different emails, so they would all connect in LinkedIn. That's why it's important to update your LinkedIn with all of your email accounts you use for your business. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, right-click on someone's email and add them to a contact. You can also see over here that Harry has his picture there. It is because he's on an Office 365 account and his picture has been added to his profile, or Microsoft 365 rather. Okay, so we're going to right-click over here, and we're going to add it to the Outlook contacts. And here's all the information that comes from the display name and everything. Hit save and close. Easy way to do it. And now we have Harry over here and the LinkedIn right there. So again, just to recap, the easiest way to add a contact through your email is just to take it and drag and then update any information over here. Hit save and close. Come down and drag it again, hit save and close. That's how you can build your contact list fast and connect on LinkedIn just as quick. We'll come back down here now. You can see I've been building up my contacts and we'll go and click on a few people. And there's the LinkedIn there and right here. And that's about it, folks. There are some other things you can do with LinkedIn connection on the phone. If you use the Outlook app, it will sync them together on the phone, but it won't sync them through your exchange account, just to let you know that. And remember, email address is the key, okay? You need the email address and that'll do it all. If you need any help with this, setting it up or doing anything else with Outlook, you can reach me at 612-865-4475, or you can email me, Lisa, at callthatgirl.biz. Thank you.